Kids, we can't stop them from growing up so fast. But we can try not to miss any of the best, most memorable things to do in their hometown. LA is probably the best city in the country for raising kids. But that just means there are more things to remember to do before the little chickens spring the coop. Here are 10 things to do in Los Angeles. The Hollywood Sign You can't get much more iconic than the Hollywood Sign. And hiking to the Hollywood Sign is a great way to see it and to get a view of all of LA. You won't be able to touch the sign but you can hike right up behind it. Take note, this is a long hike. Probably about 3-4 to four mile round trip hike from the Lake Hollywood Park where there is free public parking and a lot of it is uphill. It isn't easy, but it sure is worth it. Take the kids to the Walk of Fame. There are things in every city that locals avoid like the plague, but visitors can't afford to pass up. The Hollywood Walk of Fame is in that vein, commanding actors, musicians, directors, musical and theatrical groups, and even 16 fictional characters with stars in the pavement. A little less than half of all the stars are dedicated to someone in the film industry. In case you didn't know, the stars are made of brass and terrazzo. In spring 2019, there were more than 2,600 stars on the Walk of Fame. The Walk of Fame began in 1958 with an initial 1,588 honorees. It is located on 15 blocks of Hollywood Boulevard and 3 blocks of Vine Street. Stroll through Venice Beach Centric neighborhood and seaside resort, the world-famous Venice and Los Angeles at its most cosmopolitan and independent. Although gentrification has crept in, the 2.5-mile Venice Beach boardwalk is still prowled by outlandish characters and teams with tattoo parlors, cannabis shops, international cuisine, countless street vendors, and a big cast of street performers. Ride and enjoy the views at Sunset Boulevard. 22 miles long from downtown LA to opulent Malibu, Sunset Boulevard is a neat cross-section of the city. In West Hollywood, Sunset Boulevard encompasses the neon glare of the Sunset Strip, famed for its bright billboards and a place to dine, drink, and catch some live music. In the 60s, 70s, and 80s, every rock scene from folk rock through punk to hair metal had its time in the limelight on Sunset Strip. Rome History at the Natural History Museum Founded in 1913, the largest natural history museum in the western United States was given a spectacular overhaul in the early 2000s. Strictly speaking, the museum has three locations, including the La Brea Tar Pits. But we're here talking about the Anchor at Exposition Park, a Renaissance Revival building with fine terracotta molding, and the Colonnaded Rotunda. The crowd pleasers are becoming Los Angeles, showing you a small pueblo became an endless metropolis. And the Dinosaur Hall that reopened at double capacity in 2013, displaying the only T-Rex growth fossil series, showing a baby, juvenile, and full-grown T-Rex. Have an awesome day at the Kids Space Museum! This kid-friendly museum is out in Pasadena. It may be a little bit of a drive, but it sure is awesome! The museum is almost all outside with great hands-on activities for the kids to do. It is a perfect fit for children ages 11 to 12 and under. Well worth a visit if the kids need a day to run around and play. The Griffith Observatory and Park In a second Christmas present in 1912, Griffith J. Griffith put up the funds for the park's Greek theater and the Griffith Observatory, which wouldn't be completed until 1935. Of all the many enduring landmarks in Los Angeles, this three-domed Art Deco monument holds a certain mystique. The Griffith Observatory is posted on the south face of Mount Hollywood, which is the highest peak in the park. And the sight of the city rippling in the sun or twinkling at night from the observatory's terraces are the stuff that dreams are made of. Enjoy the Warner Brothers Studio Tour as opposed to the action-packed Universal Studio Tour, a visit to Warner Brothers close by in Burbank is less about razzle-dazzle and more about the craft of making films and TV shows. The standard tour lasts between 2 and 3 hours and packs in a visit to the soundstage where the Big Bang Theory is shot. 
as well as the archive and prop house, bursting with props and costume from countless movies including the Harry Potter series and the DC Universe. Learn new things at the Labria Tar Pits and Page Museum. Over tens of thousands of years until Los Angeles was developed, animals would be trapped and preserved in the tar at what is now Hancock Park at LACMA. Heavy oil from the Salt Lake oil field would seep to the surface becoming viscous natural tar as its lighter fractions evaporated. The tar would be covered with a layer of water or dead leaves, waiting to lure unsuspecting mammoths, saber-toothed cats, bison, horses, and dire wolves and preserve them intact. Bond with the family at the Venice Canals At the turn of the 20th century, the developer Abbott Kinney conceived a miniature version of Venice's canals marketed as the Venice of America, replenished by the Pacific through sea gates at the Marina del Rey breakwater. These cute waterways were built in 1905 but had become outmoded by the late 1920s, and over the next few decades, were allowed to fall into disrepair. 